You know, I have to say, and this is not a knock on anyone because this business <laughs> is so weird. Yes, it is. This is so weird and prior success is no guarantee for future success, right? Yes, ex- there are plenty of comedians. There's there's a couple who've been on the Tonight Show many times with Johnny Carson and are still doing open mics. But listen, yes. four years ago, I moved to LA and I was very freaked out about my place in the business because I'd had a career where it looked like big things were going to happen, but then I got in my own way. <laughs> happens. I didn't become like the big star I thought I would be, but also that's okay because uh, I don't think I would have been able to emotionally handle that in my 20s. So who gives a shit, right? Okay. And I was like in LA freaked out about it because suddenly I was this open micer again and doing bad shows as we were talking about. Yes. And I was sitting in the comedy store. Very long story. I was in the window by the, you know, that overlooks the front patio. Yeah, yeah. And oh, I was just kind of like, fucking God, what am I doing? Should I be in LA? Is comedy? Why aren't I on stage at the comedy store? What am I doing here? Did I make a mistake? Should I go to law school? And then I was looking at the fucking names written in neon. Yeah. You know, like the signs. Oh, the, the, the neon ones, and like on the inside, but not. The neon ones on the inside. Yeah. And there's a guy named Tim Thomerson. Who I guess at one point had been a big enough star at the store that uh, he got his name on the lights yeah. of people like Gary Shandling yeah. and Rob Williams and David Letterman. Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Well, he Richard Pryor's name is not in lights, I don't think, is it? It, it is, yes. But it's okay. But then Howie I looked Mandel's another window. one. I looked out the window at the names on the side of the wall. Yeah. And there's Tim Thomerson's name again, like right outside the window above the bar. And I was just like, man, you know, that guy at one point. And I looked him up. He's an actor. He's successful enough. But yeah. at one point, someone at the store thought, well, this guy is one of the biggest, com- going to be one of the biggest comics in the world. He's a huge draw here at the store. And then I looked at the names again and I was like, how many, I mean, this is before the Louis C.K. scandal. Yeah. Like how many people under the age of 40 know who Gary Shandling is anymore? Like, or who know who f- uh, half, like Roseanne, like, yeah. except until her sitcom came back and then she was, yeah. Also f-ing taken down. Yeah. Who the f- knew who Roseanne was at that point? Like, it's just such a f-ing weird business. And you can't get caught up in like, I haven't achieved this thing or I haven't gotten that thing because otherwise I'm not a success. 